Hello friends, hopefully you are all well. So today we discuss about how we can generate signed APK in our Flutter app project. Normally and mostly we generate signed APK for our Google Play console account for publishing our app. So before starting, if you are new on my channel, please like, share and subscribe my channel. So let's get started. So first of all, I am going to the official documentation of Flutter where Flutter officially tell us how we can generate signed APK. So I am scrolling down and here is the first step to generate signed APK. So first step is that create and upload key store. So here I have our two commands. First command is for Linux and second command is for window. So I am copying the window command and uh, uh, paste it on notepad separately. So I have already paste and update this command. So I have only update the location of the uh, my uh, JKS file where I want to store this. So now I am copying this uh, uh, command and now I am going to local test C. Then uh, go to program files. Then go to Android. Then go to again Android Studio and open the bin folder. And uh, in the bin folder I have opened the CMD. So here I open the CMD. Now I am pasting the copy it command and press enter so after press enter here you can say um, enter a key store password so I have uh, uh, enter the password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so uh, I press enter again re-enter password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and press enter so here you can see um, uh, what is your first and last name so now I am going to write uh, my first name and last name so uh, after the uh, enter first name and last last name please press enter now uh, what is the name of your organizational unit so write your organization unit so now normally i am uh, write sortridge so press enter now again uh, it say uh, what is the name of your organization so i am again uh, write uh, sortridge so uh, now here you can write your own organization name and on your organizational unit. So I am going to press enter and here you can see it say as what is the name of your your city and locality. So I am going to write a Islamabad. Uh, so uh, here you enter your own city and locality. So I am press enter after he say as uh, uh, what is name of your state and provision. So I am going to write my provision. So uh, press enter now. Now uh, again, what is the two letter of country code of this unit? So I am from Pakistan. So here I have write PK, which is uh, which is the two letter of our country. So press enter, and now you can see that it display all my uh, enter data. So if uh, this data is correct, so write uh, yes, and if your data is not correct, so write no. And it will again ask you your data. So now I am going to press uh, enter yes because my data is correct. So I am pre uh, press enter. So after this, uh, just press enter. So after this, you can see that uh, I am going to display it. Uh, so here you can see that my key store is created on my uh, D shortage app e and tour goes dot jcas on this location so i'm going to uh, go local sc then go on soltridge app e, and here you can see that my tour goes uh, um, jks file is created so first uh, step is clear now i'm going to again official documentation so uh, second step is that to reference your key store which i have uh, created in first step so now i'm going to uh, reference our key store in our flutter app so what is the procedure so here you can see create a file in android so uh, which name is the e property so now i am copying this so i am going to visual studio and uh, in android folder i have create a new file which name is e dot property and press enter so uh, yeah, after creating e dot property file and copy this uh, text so now i'm pasting it so what we go to update here first of all we update this uh, here password which will enter which we have entered in first app of when we are creating to uh, so, uh, jks file so i have 
write one two three four five six seven eight nine password and again i have entered one two three four five six seven eight nine so uh, after this uh, the, this is the by default so now uh, here i have to update my uh, location of the uh, file uh, where i have stored the keys for so now i'm going to um, our location where i have stored my uh, jks file now i'm copying this uh, command and paste here so uh, in this uh, in this path i have uh, removed the forward slash and uh, add the backward uh, backslash so in after this uh, i have add backslash and here i have type my jks file name so i have copied this so and uh, now i have paste it and write jks so control s so now what we do uh, so this uh, is the second step which i have uh, uh, done um, perfectly so uh, second step is that go to your android app build or that means to say go your uh, build or that file of your android so now i'm going to uh, um, going to android and open the build dot grader so here i have two build or grader first is the android build or grader and second is the app uh, build dot grader so uh, i am going to uh, um, build dot gradle of android folder so i am opening this folder but we do and what we update first of all uh, we uh, copy this file uh, this text and now i'm going to uh, here uh, you can see that uh, uh, sorry for to this uh, sorry uh, going to app dot build gradle so i am going to app dot build gradle and here i have uh, so uh, here i have uh, copy this and replace it with copied file so uh, press the control s and the second step is that go to uh, uh, your uh, build dot gradle and find uh, build types block so i am scrolling down and here you can see a build type uh, build type uh, folder and build type block so just uh, replace this uh, with uh, uh, this file so now uh, this is the final step so uh, this is the final step so uh, what we do on next uh, just go to on terminal and uh, write a command flutter generate apk flutter generate apk so when we uh, press uh, when we write uh, this command and press enter so it take uh, two to three minutes to generate file so uh, here is i have error target file apk not found so uh, something is going to wrong so i am going to checking it uh, i have uh, you can see here is the error of the uh, body so i think now it is done perfectly so i am again write letter generate apk and again press enter so now uh it again uh, error so what is going wrong now i'm undo the all uh, code which i have updated now again i have repeat this step so just copy here and replace this file here and second i have copy this and replace with this block and press control s so let's again try flutter build apk so uh, friends uh, uh, i hope um, the error has been moved now our build apk is successfully generated so it take uh, time so when i will edit, edit this video so i will speed up this part of video so finally friends after a long time our uh, signed apk has been generated so now i'm going to check my app release apk so i'm going to go to build then again go on app and then go output and here you can see a folder of apk and in apk you can see 
uh, app release dot apk so finally our uh, signed apk which will we uh, can upload on play store so that apk uh, will be generated so this is a simple way so hopefully this video will increase your knowledge and make an interest in your flutter so more video for learn more flutter from beginner to advanced and other latest technology like share and subscribe my channel so meet you on next video take care bye bye